Hello everybody, this is Gabby's Games, and welcome back to Zone Crossout 101. Today we're, I'm going to explain um, how to optimize a build. Um, for this one, first I want to show off this build. It's probably one of the worst builds I have made in a while. But I did that on purpose to show you guys. This thing is a 4000 power score vehicle. That has is armed with 4 new power shotguns on a jawbreaker with gas generator setup. Uh, it has, also has a, um, a fuel barrel. As you can see here is a bandrake for already firing at us. So a lot of people will complain, why is there a legendary in my game while I only have a few common parts? Well, this build is so inefficient as it possibly can make it on, for real. I don't want to really hunt this guy down. Scary boy. Getting pretty heavy on the fire. And here you go. As you can see, I got killed. And here guys are like, why are there two guys? Well, guy with two epics, two damage to rare, a lot more rares. <laughs> and even the AI has like epics. People will complain about it a lot. Like, really a lot. But in a moment, I'm gonna play like one or two more games to show like how bad this thing is. I really gotta try my best to do as like as much damage with it as we can. But I'm pretty damn sure that I will not be able to do much with this thing. So you know, let's go back to garage and quickly go to another match to show it. I mean, I don't re I don't really get any rewards from such a match, anyways. Do -do. There you go, you can see a guy with over two more epic weapons, and I mean like... They're all like, I want only like one guy's higher power score than I am. And there are even like guys that like, they're almost like a thousand below me. But still this is not balanced for me. There you can see I'm already disarmed, and dead. So I'm gonna explain, like, why is this thing is such a bad build? Okay, so look at this thing. Um, it's 3,900 power score. It's 1,042 points of structure. It's 38 parts. It has 12 out of 14 energy. It has a mass of 7.3,000. And if you look at the guns, they are 360 power score each. Have 363 health points, 3 energy drain, 6 HP per of mass. What there is important here is a 360 power score and the uh, 63 points of structure and of course the tree energy usage. Having four of these guns means that um, the total uh, value of these guns is around 1400 power score. 1400 and then like 1500 is the rest of the build. On top of that, uh, these four uh, parts will only be around 250 health. Out of the, uh, and then on top of that is like 1042 health. <coughs> so the total health of the week is like 1250, but only 200, uh, like only like 250 right of that is into the shotguns. So um, after dealing, after taking like uh, 20 to like 30 percent damage, you're most likely to have already lost your guns. Now what happens if you have something like this? All these parts gonna shut off. Then you have a 2,000 power per rig. We have without any powers without any without any weapons, it's just being useless. So that's the main reason why I say um, minimalize your builds as much as possible because this thing is really maximalized for its weapons, but it's really poorly built. So, um, so let's say again with the loop power shotguns. For the loop power shotguns, I would say a build like this should be more than enough. Um, I'm gonna actually use a tester cabin, I think, for it. Uh, two. Frame, duster cabin, and then two the bar shotguns in front. Then steering wheel right here, and then a, let's put it right here. 
I should be able to put a 2x4 rear where I can put another stair mule. There we go. Let's put this one actually one back. So we're gonna go for as minimalistic as possible here. We're gonna protect the guns in the same way. The exact same way as we did with the other one. Although, well, of course, slightly different because you're gonna make it exactly the same, but yeah, pretty much the same way. And then we're gonna simply cap, uh, like, add a little bit of health on the cabin. And we gotta armor up the front, so we're gonna simply do. Uh, let's see. Big rule three. On both sides, and then a big group four on the center. So, and normal grill, right? So, now you got to see you got this really full armored uh, shotguns on a very low power score vehicle. So, this is about it uh, for the vehicle. Uh, it only has two of these shotguns, but it is. Such a much lower power score, and it even can be improved upon because it has a one energy extra uh, like limit. And if you compare this to like uh, the other thing, the other guy that like was so easy to disarm, even though you armored the guns up like this, I mean they're almost impossible to shoot, but they would still be shot off very very quickly. This is my main problem with Matchmaker, and why, and why, in my opinion, everybody is, like complaining of them is not doing stuff right. I mean, um, a lot of those people are complaining using that, like they're fi I'm fighting the legendaries with my chore. Well, I'm gonna show you guys uh, after this one a minimalistic build for a legendary. So, what is gonna be the minimum, uh, the absolute minimum for a legendary? Um, of course, I'll be using a Tsunami, and the Tsunami is a relatively a low power score version for um, Legendaries. Stuff like the, uh, the Reaper needs uh, a lot of support modes in order to be effective. The Tsunami doesn't need that much in comparison. But still, they're going to be a pretty high power score. And this guy needs some help. <laughs> Right there. And let's move out to the um, offensive position, uh, to the uh, top offensive position. You probably guys might be thinking, why the hell is a guy with shotguns going up here? Well, I'm using my shotgun as always, it's right here. If done right, you can easily, uh, like, like out move the guys right going right there in this case not really that much because I like bumped a little bit which is a bummer but I'm still all fine and there we go got my first kill already doing more than I did with the other one Cannon rod into me. That oh, those are fuel barrels. That guy is gonna regret seeing me. Oh well, <laughs> we outcapped. I mean, I survived until the end of the match, and I did so much better. Comparison, like a build like this, minimalizing the things you need, uh, like minimizing only the, the things you absolutely need, is the key to getting a low power score vehicle. So, for example, uh, this is the, my version of a ultimate low power score vehicle for a tsunami cannon. The tsunami cannon is behind there, uh, so we're gonna use a gorilla cabin, which is lower power score at the cost of lower health and lower mobility, and of course, a tsunami cannon. 
And for wheels, we're simply going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wheels. This thing is under 5,000 power score. Under 5,000 power score. And it actually simply functions. This might be the thing where you guys might say like, but this is so overpowered. But you have to consideration, this thing has only 226 points of health. Um, even though it's, a, okay, in this case you are a sniper. And people are not always going to notice you. Well, most of the time they're going to not notice you. But that's, I, in my opinion, is kind of like, the issue with the player base, they're not looking at sniper supports uh, 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 or glass cannons, they're just shooting the first guy they see. In my case, um, even that is more like mostly consistent for me as well. But if I see two guys next to each other, I will also be always try to pick the lightest armored target. Um, just charging up the cannon before I start combating, because that gives me a really big advantage. Although I kind of wasted it right there. So there are some guys over there and some guys over there. And there's a drone here, which is a problem. Oh, that's a hover right there. Let's see. I mean, I'm not at a disadvantage for the waiting here. So, missed the shot. Yeah, I am kind of in a difficult situation right now because I'm losing my health pretty fast. I'm possibly gonna die here. If, if, if these guys are commenting me properly, I will die. But if I don't, then I will be able to survive and dish out some pretty serious damage. That's this right there. Ah crap, run. There again, well this guy is gonna shrag me, so I'm gonna get a heck out of dodge. But, um, if people again, if they're, they're like ignore me, of course I'll be doing much damage. I mean this thing is a glass cannon. It does not have much health, but it, it um, and deals out, uh, out so much damage, um, uh, like people are just as much, uh, like dangerous to you as you are to them. That's the balance factor of like these um, hover, or, like these class cannons. And of course, in this case, um, I'm really dangerous because I can operate even at long distances. That's the advantage of being like in this case a tsunami cannon. But uh, if you, for example, say uh, use a hammerfall, you might be able to dish out a lot of damage, but you have to go get the, uh, get to go in and do like the dirty job. But then, and then you will notice the uh, low armor even more than I do. So, um, I would, uh, there are a few tips that I can give you guys that will overall help you improve the, and the global setup of your vehicles. So first of all, if you look at the basic cabins, um, you got the, co uh, the common cabins at 250 and the epic cabins at 750. The common cabins go up to 9 energy. And the uh, rare cabins go up to 11 energy. Um, so I first suggest going for a common cabin that goes up to 9. Then you already have like more energy to work with. Of course, if you do need the speed, you might have to upgrade to a better cabin. But that is also, of course, 500 power score. But if you want more energy than at, the, than at 9 points, do not imme uh, immediately start like upgrading to something like a Pilgrim or a Jawbreaker with 10 or 11 points. First take a look at... Generators because ge this generator is 460 power score and gives three points of um, energy. So basically, a docker with a gas generator will be lower power score than a jawbreaker, but it will have one more energy point. That's 12 energy. I mean, it's going to be just as fast. Uh, it's like it's going to be as fast as a trucker, but its overall stats are slightly worse. I mean, um, the tonnage, stuff like that, structure health. They're all worse, but it will have one more energy point for minus 40 power score. If you go for a hazardous generator, you can get the same like energy drawbreaker for even lower power score. 
So that's one thing. So before you go for a rare cabin, I should just first go in for a nor like a common cabin, and uh, and then um, give it a generator. That is actually one of the first tactics. <coughs> and the second one, always um, try to have your guns at least of the same rarity as your cabin. So if you are using shorts, never, absolutely never use a cabin of rare rarity. Or if you have like repairs or vectors, then you should look at using rare cabins. Same for the epic cabins. Never use uh, rare weapons with an epic cabin because the epic cabins are even worse with 1500 power score. I mean, 12 energy for 1500 power score, and where you can get it for under 750 if you have had to use the had to use the docker and jet generator. I mean, it's so much more efficient to first to use a minimalized system. Um, because currently um, armor is kind of underpowered. That's one one big problem in this game. Armor is rather underpowered. So um, I would prefer a, uh, a build with little armor, uh, low power score, and high firepower over a build that has lower like um, health or and or speed, but more health uh, uh, like uh, like more health. Finally, um, try to use. Um, Modules of uh, the same rarity as your uh, weapons. That is, if possible, um, the generator is an exception. Um, although, kind of like you do, if you are using shorts, you only want to go for common, and you do not want to use the generator, if possible. But um, yeah, if again, if possible, um, use uh, the generator of the same rarity. But if absolutely necessary, you can go one. Uh, uh, like uh, rarity higher, but never go too rarity high. So never use a jet generator on common parts, and never use an Apollo on um, rare upgrade parts. Always use the Apollo and at least epic parts, and the jet generator on at least rare parts. Otherwise, it's really just not worth it. Also, on the common parts like the Adventure, try not to use rare ammo packs or whatever because it's simply not worth it. I mean, it's a 600 power score weapon, and you're gonna throw like 100 power score on top of that. There's an increasement of. <laughs> it's just a. Pr it's gonna increase the power score by quite a lot, and it. It's such a big price to pay in combination in comparison to your gun. It's just not worth it. Again, same with the wheels and what and hovers and stuff like that. Never use uh, movement parts that are on a higher uh, higher higher rarity. Yeah, your weapons. So for for example, I would never use my hoppers on a build with either Adventure, Dupara, Shorts, or any of the normal rare weapons. I would only use it on Epic or Legendary weapons. Because it's just simply not worth it. Um also, um plows and bumpers. Try to not if you possible do not use these unless you really need them. Because I mean the train plow is 300 power score on its own, and my in comparison you can mount a short or a Lupara for like if you mount two of those like one of each, you can uh, it's the same price as placing two train plows. Then you might think like what is more useful a shotgun and a machine gun, or two large plow parts. I mean the plow parts are not going to do much. Let's keep it at that. <laughs> so yeah. That is um, the most important thing, in my opinion, about um, matchmaker, about like how to like make the most out of your vehicle for the current matchmaking system. Um, in a mo in a, like half an hour, I will probably upload another video explaining how all the matchmaker systems exactly work um, and like how to um, use the system even further to enhance your own strength. Of course, you do have to play with something you can play. I mean, not everybody can use this thing as a sniper, and some of them will just simply like go in and like at like melee range and throw a shotgun blast everybody. But then they will be exposed to fire and they will die really quickly and they will scream underpowered on the gun because it's such an expensive gun for this power score. In my opinion, also um, before you immediately start screaming seal clubbing, um, I see um, two different things like. Um, Glass cannons and seal clubbing. In my opinion, a vehicle like this um, 
or like with a hammerfall is not necessarily still clubbing because it has a clear trade off. This thing has such a low health that if somebody with a drone or with like a machine gun starts firing at it, it will die almost immediately. Um, similar to like something with a cricket, it will just die really quickly. Um, weapons that I like the, the old drones before they got nerfed. Like what I see as seal clubbing is not like using the high legendary weapon because um, in comparison, uh, this tsunami vehicle would be at, at a disadvantage compared to like a guy that hit and uh, that has two or three drones at 2500 power score. I mean, um, like comparison, the drones will uh, like in the old drones you you will be like at similar power score. But uh, they're much more powerful, and that's in my opinion seal clubbing. Seal clubbing is like my turn of the definition, in, uh, like my opinion, the, uh, like as definition, is seal clubbing is a means of using an overpowered weapon, like the most effective set setup, to stomp people that have a less uh, like useful setup. Well, using glass cannons like this one is the use of a weapon that has such a high tier that you have to trade in either all your armor or your uh, movement speed in order to keep it at that tier. So you have an extreme amount of firepower but you will lack either either speed or health or both. In my opinion um, the seal clubbing is what needs to be balanced. This is not. I mean if um, if I would die like as often as I would make kills with this thing I would be fine. I would have fun at having a gun that can one shot everybody, but at the cost that everybody can one shot me. While seal climbing is just like, okay, let's use the most overpowered weapon I can handle that there's currently in the game to noob stop everybody. And that is simply what is not fun. Glass cannons, again, in my opinion, the glass cannons are fun. I don't mind glass cannons at all. Actually, I support glass cannons. I'm a big like fan of things like this. As long as the weapon is not overpowered and it becomes too club. But that said, I want to thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will catch you guys all later. See you guys!